Now we have covered the dark meter raster, let's take a look at the light meter raster. We can see that the light meter raster is the third option in the rasterization list and goes under the name Use Screening as Configured as a Mask Recommended for Bright Media. The light media raster is best suited for printing onto light coloured garments. The light media raster is suitable for photographs and images with gradients or shading. Using the light media raster for printing onto dark garments is not recommended. The reason for this is because the light media raster removes the light areas of the image and the light areas of the image are necessary when printing onto dark garments. Click on the light media raster option. You can see that we are presented with the same customization options as with the dark media raster. The top line has only one option, the mask option. The mask value defines how large and how many dots are used in the raster. We recommend a value between 25 and 30. This provides the best washability, softness and the brightest colours. Choosing a lower mask value makes the dots larger while placing fewer dots in the raster. The lower the value, the more tone you save, but the image quality is affected. Choosing a higher value makes the dots smaller while placing more dots in the raster. The higher the value, the less tone you save and the image quality is improved, but the washability of the image drops. We do not recommend using a value higher than 40, as this goes beyond the limits of the transfer media. Using values of 40 and higher merges the dots together which decreases the washability of the image as well as producing a harder touch. For this image we will go for a mask size of 27. At this value the right amount of the image is removed. The dots are a good size which helps the image stand out on the t-shirt and the spacing of the dots offers high washability. If a raster value does not appear in the drop down list, clicking on the field and typing your value is possible. The shadow tolerance defines how much of the dark areas of the image are rasterized. 100 is the standard setting within the transfer rip and produces the best results with most images. If your image has a lot of dark areas, increasing this value softens the image on the t-shirt. The higher the value is set, the more dark areas are rasterized. You can change the dot shape to your personal choice. Each dot shape looks different and provides a unique look to your design. We have 7 raster options to choose from. The first option we have in the list is the Euclidean dot shape and this is our standard setting. We also have round, square, line, elliptical, pincushion and rhombus. The angle, highlights and shadows options are the same as with the dark media raster. If you have missing dots in your design then lowering or increasing the highlights and shadows values will prevent the dots from being removed when transferring to the garment. The angle should stay as a standard setting of 52.5 degrees, unless you are using the line raster option. In this case you will choose a value of 0 degrees or 90 degrees depending on how your image has been saved. Images saved in the portrait layout should use an angle of 0, while images saved in the landscape layout should use 90 degrees. To preview the light media raster before sending the job to print, click the preview button at the bottom of the window. We can see that the light media raster looks different. It's different because the light media raster removes the light areas of the image as well as opening up those lighter areas so that the t-shirt colour can show through when compared to the dark media raster. We can see that the darker areas of the image are closed with less chance for the t-shirt colour to show through. This helps keep those dark colours dark on the light garment. A really great feature in the rasterization window is the option of saving or loading previously saved rasterization and printer settings. The settings option with the small printer icon at the bottom of the window lets you save the current raster settings. Clicking on the lower printer settings takes you to a list of previously saved rasterization settings. Please note that the options which are saved include the screening, print and ICEC profile settings, but do not include the output options. This feature saves you time by removing the need to repeat tasks. If you find a raster that you like, or if you would like to save different rasters with your personal settings, then you can save these changes for use with different images. Let's go ahead and save our settings for later. Click Settings, then click Save Actual Printer Settings. In the new window, choose a name and add a description of this raster. Click Save to add the raster settings to our printer settings list. 
You can remove old or unused settings by selecting it from the list and clicking delete. 